This past year with the pandemic it was a difficult year here at the uh, Freeport McMurray and Audubon Species Survival Center. It severely reduced our ability to uh, reproduce these birds here um, with the lack of staffing. And as a result, we didn't have any whooping crane hatchings here last year. This season has been a remarkable improvement as in the fact that we actually have chicks on the ground. We've been able to have our full-time staff here um, working on a daily basis which meant we've been able to do more with the birds themselves. Right now, our, we have seven chicks on the ground and they're growing like weeds. Um, right now, they're main, hitting major milestones of wing feathers. Their primary feathers are growing in and they're getting growth spurts where they're shooting up in weight and height. Of our seven chicks this year, whooping crane chicks, one of them is being parent reared by parents and the six others are actually being costume reared by our staff. So our staff here are dressing up as a crane in a costume to help raise with a puppet and raise these chicks so that they don't imprint on the human form itself and introduce the behaviors a crane would actually have. Currently, there's about 78 whooping cranes in the wild here in Louisiana, out in western Louisiana where most of the population lives. We raised them for about six months and then we looked to release these guys in the wild in late October and early November. So one of the big joys of working here at Audubon is working with this crane program to be able to work with a species and help a species out and help raise those numbers and awareness in the wild. So that's a big plus here and that's sort of what makes me go. So this year, funds raised at the Hancock Whitney Zoo to do event will go towards whooping crane conservation here at the Audubon Species Survival Center. The work we do here wouldn't be possible without support from U.S. Fish and Wildlife, Chevron, Hancock Whitney, and other generous supporters.